Hey beauties, it's Riri. If you're new here, I'm an over 40 lover of all things beauty and I love showcasing indie brands here on my channel. Today though is an unboxing. I'm going to do a very quick itty bitty teeny weeny Sephora haul. Not very many things, going to be a very short and sweet video. First up, I got the brand new launch for Huda Beauty. This is the Blush Filter Liquid Blush. I did opt for the shade Watermelon Pop. I also picked up the brand new launch for Hello Sunday. This is the One for Your Lips Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Clear Lip Balm with Shea Butter and Hyaluronic Acid. And I'll show you all three of these products in just a second. And then I've been waiting to try this and waiting to buy this since it launched and it keeps selling out, y'all. But it is the Jackie Ines brand Forever Mood is the I Am Her Eau de Parfum. So I will show y'all these. This says self-care isn't selfish. Amen. I preach that all the time. So I do want to try this first. I always kind of spray out here first because I do have allergies. Ooh, that smells very nice. It's a little more intense than I thought, which is an eau de parfum, not an eau de toilette. Oh, that's very nice. Very romantic. I feel like it's more sensual and a little bit more nighttime. Mmm. Oh, I like that a lot. Let me see if the notes are on here and I'll tell y'all real quick. I do not see the notes on here, so I will pop them on the screen for y'all. But I'm happy to have this. I'm excited about this. Then I will show y'all what the Hello Sunday Lip Balm looks like. Kind of a standard squeezy tube. And I actually have a few lip balms. I have like one from Dermatology and then the K-Skin one. Um, this one has an SPF of 50 though, so I'm super excited about this. And yeah, it's just one, I think they just had one clear shade. So I do want to see just kind of how thick it is. All right, it seems pretty emollient. I'm actually going to try some on and see what it looks like. Ooh. That is a lot more thin, which I like, than some of the other ones that I've tried. And it actually smells really good, too. I feel like I'm kind of smelling fruitiness. I like the texture of this a lot. It's almost like just a little bit of a thicker lip oil versus kind of a dense, kind of a little bit too thick of a lip balm. Like the K-Skin one, I like it and it works fine, but it's got a little bit... It's a little too thick and a little bit too gloopy for me. I'll use it up, but this does not feel like that. I love this. Ooh, okay, happy with that. And then I think I will kind of semi-test the blush too, just to see what it looks like. And again, that is the Huda Beauty Blush Filter Liquid Blush, the shade Watermelon Pop. I'm really excited about this, like the packaging and everything, you guys, I think is so pretty. I'm going to do like I typically do and put this on the back of my hand because it looks pretty intense. Let me just see how they say to use it. Uh, lightweight, melts on the skin, soft focus finish. It doesn't really tell you what to do, so I'm going to do what I normally do. <laughs> and I go in with kind of like a fluffy but dense brush. I pick up a little bit. And even just kind of seeing it on my hand, let me get up close. As I'm shearing it out, or kind of blending it out, it does shear out some. Ooh, that's, that is a really cool texture, you guys. Ooh, that is punchy, honey. <laughs> Definitely going to say a little probably is going to go a long way. But the texture of it kind of feels serumy slippy, like very thin. And then as it's drying down, like even here, as it's drying down and kind of shearing out on my hand, it kind of becomes this beautiful kind of like velvety texture. Oh, I love that. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Obviously I cannot attest to long wearability, but that is that feels so nice, you guys. I like that it has a little bit of a glow to it not like super overtly glowy or anything like that. That texture is lovely. And I do believe it's gonna stain because my finger is stained. We'll see how hard it is to get off my hand as well. So I got these three products, the perfume, the lip balm, and the blush. 
And I went ahead and got a couple of samples, of course. I typically opt for like the foundation cards because I obviously do other people's makeup. So it's just easy to be able to have, you know, different, but it, so it's just super easy to be able to have different shades and stuff to accommodate other people. So I picked that up and I got the Skylar Capri Citrus Sparkling Sweet Eau de Toilette. I am not gonna spray that because I've already sprayed perfume and I don't wanna do too much, but these were my samples. And then I had a ton of points built up. So I got a bunch of the little freebies or using my points. I got the Solwasu, Sol <laughs> the Essential Comfort Firming Cream. I got the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Gel Cream Moisturizer. I got the Natasha Denona Golden Palette Single Eyeshadow. This is the shade Oro. I also picked up the Makeup Forever The Pore Minimizer Step 1 Primer. I also opted, in case I do somebody's makeup that maybe they have more oily skin, I got the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. And last but not least, I got the Day Cactus Fruit 3-in-1 Styling Cream. And I really love Day products overall. That new dry shampoo they have though, <laughs> I hate it. I do not like that at all. Um, other than that though, like these types of products I really love. All right, y'all, that's my little teeny tiny little Sephora haul. Are any of these products that you have picked up, that you've tested, that you wanna test? If you're looking for something, um, this is probably not gonna last forever, but you wanna reapply SPF anyways. I love this. And this was probably like, I think 14 or $16. So one of the least expensive ones that I've tried this I love. I think it is so pretty. It already dried down completely on my complexion. I don't feel like it's going to like rub and budge and stuff like that. Um, super impactful, but as you can see on my hand, I feel like you could really kind of diffuse it out a little bit. Um, I like that. I'm a fan of that. I love the freaking packaging. And the perfume, I think I'm also going to really love. It is a little more intense than I anticipated it being, um, but that's also a good thing. I personally, though, think that I wear this more for like evening time, date night, something like that. So that is it for my little Sephora haul. What did you guys think? Comment down below. Let's have that conversation. I hope you'll stick around and subscribe and join my beauty family. Thank you for being here. Thank you to my beautiful channel members. I love you. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And of course, be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties.